Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Shredder Gamer right here. We'll go back to another stream. Today we're playing some more Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 here. Today, everybody, I've got another treat for you here. I've got the Saab 40 airliner here. This is one pretty cool plane. This is the turboprop airliner. Coolest fact about this plane is the Grand Tour flew on one in last October. Anyways, this is an FSX port over, so of course the gauges didn't come over, sadly. Uh, then there's that up there, the upper panel. Um, this is pretty much the cabin. It's not a very big plane. Um, I wonder, though, is that a lavatory back there? Is there a bathroom in this plane? If there is, uh, let me know if anyone's actually ever flown on these. But this is another showcase, and I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a history lesson in this plane like I do in all my showcases. So... The Saab 340 is a Swedish twin-engine turboprop aircraft designed and initially produced by Saab, AB, and Farchild Aircraft. It is designed to seat 30 to 36 passengers, and as of July 2018, there were 240 operational aircraft used by 34 different operators. The engine type or GE, uh, the engines are GE 10700s, which is pretty cool. Number, it can seat 37 seats. Anyways, this is a pretty cool plane, though, not gonna lie. Um, I want to do a flight in this plane. We have the Northwest Airlink, which I don't know what kind of airline that is. I'm assuming it's affiliated with the famous Northwest Airlines, which went, which uh, merged with Delta in 2009. This plane, though, however, does have a few flaws. One, you can fl one the reverse thrusters. You can actually go forward with the reverse thrusters. I turn off my park brake. Okay, I guess you cannot, but they don't push you back either. You don't go forward, but you don't go backwards with the reverse thrusters. So you see, yep, now we're rolling. And we're still rolling. Yep, now I can show you. So see, the reverse thrusters are on, and we're still moving forward just a little bit. Another bug, it starts with the parking brake off. And two, the prop pitch does not change at all. I mean, the sound of the engine does not change at all, guys. So, right now, if I give it full throttle, you can tell that it's accelerating. See, it's accelerating, but the sound of the engines has not changed at all. But the only way you can get the engines to change is if you put change the prop pitch when you want to use the reverse thrusters. So, I'm going to activate them. That's the only way you can really get much difference from the engine. But it flies pretty good, and without further ado, let's take her up in the air. We are at Dillian Hopkins Airport today in Keene, New Hampshire, which is an airport that I use a lot for my uh, showcases. We are actually starting quite slowly. Is our e-brake on? Oh, yep, it was on. That's why we were going so slow. Yeah, the parking brake does not hold either. That's another thing I've established. All right, we are coming along at a good speed. Okay, rotate. Okay, that was okay. That was not a very good takeoff. Wow, right, flaps up. I'm gonna fly over beautiful Keen here today, boys. I can climb pretty good too. It's a good plane for bush flights. I need to reset my altimeter. Maybe I should do some long call flights in this plane. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this plane in the comment section down below. trying to turn around but I lost control okay my game is lagging quite a bit all right we're gonna try and land a keen gear down flaps down a bit high up but maybe we can actually make it we will chew up a good chunk of the runway 
But the Grand Tour actually did fly on one of these in October of 2020. So I'm thinking maybe we should do kind of something like the Grand Tour did. <clears throat> okay, we are coming in quite steep and quite fast, too. But I want to land this baby. Okay, now I'm actually losing speed, so... Okay, well, yep, okay. That was a perfect... Oh, that was actually... That was a bad landing. That was a bounce. That was bad. Okay, that was... That was actually not bad at all. Now we just need to stop. Going all over the place here. Oh, God, we're gonna go off the runway here. Oh, that was a sick drift, though. <laughs> yeah, that was not good. Right, so I'm gonna taxi towards the parking lot. That's the thing, also, this plane can actually taxi on its own. Even if you don't give it any throttle, just when the engines are at idle, it will taxi. Right now, with my reverse thrusters, it's taxiing slowly. I oh, know it wasn't, it was just going really slow. Okay. So this plane could use some work, but it's a pretty good plane. I strongly recommend downloading it. I just want to taxi over here to the runway. To the parking lot, I mean. Okay, we are gonna come on over here. Ooh, oh, okay, I was afraid we we're gonna go off the taxiway. <clears throat> I don't know if these planes fly in the US. I know they fly in Europe and in Canada. Right, stop, okay, stop. I hope that this thing doesn't take off while I try and turn on my park brake. Okay, I'm powering down my engines now. Okay, I thought. So we are parked next to a Beechcraft Baron and a Ford Taurus, or not a Ford Taurus, freaking Ford Transit. And then we just have some of our general aviation aircraft here at Dylan Hopkins. <coughs> Alright, I just want to wait for the engines to power down so I can show you what they look like. Not a bad plane at all, though. Not a bad plane, the Saab 40. Or the Saab 340, my bad. I keep mispronouncing that. But. Yeah, I do want to use this plane in the future. Oh my god, the engines will not stop spinning. All right, you know what? I'm just going to end the video here. Anyways, well, I guess that wraps up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please just subscribe if you guys want more. Oh, okay, they finally stopped spinning. But anyways, please just subscribe if you guys want more videos like these. And have a good day.